Well, now that I've killed everybody on this side, let's finish our murder spree. So, what I'm supposed to be doing is pursuing number nine as fast as I can in order to retrieve the child. But uh, instead I decided to go on a little hunting trip because that's just how it works. Oh, do you ever like, you eat a meal and then it gets digested with such gusto and such high efficiency that you get like hunger pains almost because it like the fact that you ate a meal and it got digested made you more hungry and now you're like shit I need to eat like another dinner and then you're like but I don't want to these interesting sort of tummy tummy spasms that are saying like I would stop spasming if you put food in me and I'm like I just fed you and they're like yeah and we just freaking pushed it all out to the you know the next stage you know, give us, give us some more. And I'm like, no. Oh, you know what though? I did go to the grocery store today. 85 bucks for what I walked out with. Um, now, admittedly, I was a little bougie and I bought some of those pre-made salads they have in the deli. But like, those containers, we're talking like, I think no more than four cups of salad, like $20. Like, come on, guys. Um, okay, these guys are being problem. I paralyze you. Oh, there was another one. Um, and I did have to get some Nizerol, which if you don't know about Nizerol and you have either dandruff or like me, you get like stress rash on your head. Like, uh, what's it called? Uh, sebaceous, I want to say. Dermatitis? Of the scalp, I want to say? It's, a, it's cradle cap, essentially, but for adults. Um, I get it when I'm all stressed out and my scalp gets all fucked up, and, uh, Nizerol is an antifungal. Well, <laughs> really sharing things today there, guy. Um, but it's, uh, I think the inflammation and the itching has something to do with, like, because I get all stressed out, like, the, the fungi that live up there, because it just does, okay? Like, this is just real. That just is how it is. It doesn't mean I did anything wrong. Um, it's on your- it's on you too. Gets a little out of- kind of like a yeast infection. Your vagina, and if you don't have a vagina, uh, let me tell you about vaginas. The yeast is hanging out down there. The candida, whatever. Candida, whatever. Um, it's not a problem unless it gets too much- oh, these guys. Until- unless it gets too imbalanced, and then you have a problem. So, the fungus among us on the head I think it gets unbalanced, and therefore using an antifungal shampoo, the Ketoconazole, Nizerol, it uh, seems to help clear up the inflammation a lot faster by clearing up whatever's causing it to be inflamed in the first place. I do have hydrocortisone like stuff I can put on it, but it sucks. It's like an oil and I have to leave it on my head for like eight hours and it's just it's awful. I don't like it, but... So I will admit that that was probably the bulk of that bill, but that's stupid too. Um, and what else did I get? I got two bags of broccoli florets because I don't chop broccoli because I just I, I let too much go to waste. I it. Unless I grew the broccoli myself, I don't want to cut it up. Um, Look at you, fancy pants. Uh, oh yeah, you, 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 you want your own mammogram and you want broccoli. Um, what else did I get? Um, oh, I got a I got a half off Happy Planet smoothie because uh, uh, the migraine hit me in there, and sometimes I could buy myself a little bit of time if I like. Uh, sometimes it's just because I'm hungry, and because I was coming from Mass, I hadn't eaten yet, so I was like maybe. But also, those are good. Those pineapple, really mango pineapple, I think. Happy Planet, they're rad, really good had that, and then what else was in there? I think that might have been it, dude. Yeah, that was all that was in there. That was 85 bucks. Oh, and I bought a little trick-or-treat bag, fabric bag, because I was like, oh, they're not gonna have plastic bags up there. Ah, oh, that makes me nuts. And yet they had plastic bags up there, but whatever, I don't regret my purchase of a trick-or-treat bag because it was super cute. And now that I have a house, I won't be there for Halloween, but I have a house. Fuck you, dude. 
Um, I'll be able to decorate my house and my lawn and stuff for Halloween. And I was like, I can, yeah, I can rationalize the three dollar purchase of this tiny fabric bag because I can put it in the window. It's just a kick-ass, cool, reflective spider. Suck on that. I really hope that my little town that I'm moving to does like has a decent Halloween because that would be so exciting. Halloween used to be the total bomb out in the burbs where I lived like, growing up as a kid. And I was always wanted, like, when I was a kid, to provide for the kiddos. And I've uh, never had the opportunity. And I'm super stoked on that idea. I can see being that, that, that guy on the street that just takes it too cereal. Like my father, basically. My elderly mom, she does not like Halloween, but um, I think something must have happened to her on Halloween or something because she really hates it. But I think she'll be down for like handing out treats to the kiddos next year. I think she might actually really like that because she's never done it either. Not really. So, that'll be fun. We will be there for Christmas though. Um, I don't have money now. That I've bought in my hoose to blow on like those. I, I'm gonna do it though. You know those like lawn decorations that have like air machines attached to them to keep them inflated. Um, that's what I want to do. I want that in my life. I think that'll be awesome. Spread that Christmas cheer. Um, it's already like minus whatever out there. So. Actually, yeah, that's something else I have to do before I leave. Is, uh, find a parka! Like a real one. Hang on. Mm. Oh, delicious drink! Cranberry flavored dyed ginger ale. Heck yeah! Uh, oh, I'm sorry. My goodness. Um, it's already like minus degrees out there. And oh, I have to do all the yard work, which is fine. I don't fancy that I'll get up there and uh, try to put Christmas lights up. I don't even own a ladder at this point, but uh, next year, maybe. And I'm, oh, the security system's back on. I forgot about that. Okay. All right, little problem here, and that's that the security system is on. They turned it back on. Bit of a problem when you're fighting douchebags. Alright, dude. Um. Oh, it's these. You can feel. You can't because it's in my controller, but these guys, when they're powering up, the controller sort of like pulses a little bit and it sort of grows. It's, um. It's hard to explain. It's subtle. But it, it's definitely the controller let you know if they're there if you can't see them just yet. Item of Tons, absolutely. See, they know I'm probably out of ammo. Um, so that's a little full of cavern. Yeah, because why not? Uh, it's not called the Gorge. Is that a correct term? Let's get a. Can I get a vocabulary check on that, please? to get back up there, but I don't want to screw up the bounty, which I'm pretty sure I have already, but hey man. Oh, security system. Yeah, I okay, can shoot. Oh, I ran right into them like an idiot. A driving thing. Thought you said you could drive a tank. Listen, I can. It's not well. That was the tank's fault. How am I not hitting him? He's powering up. Feel it. I just hit that. Really? See, now we're just chowing down on that. Listen, you're sort of being a shit, sir. Really? 
if anything, these are more annoying, not because they do a ton of damage, but because they they hog your auto-aim. And they, they make it a bit irritating to back on when you're actually trying to hit. That's a bit of a bitch. Okay, I shot you down, dude. I haven't used- I bet air burst is another one of those things that's probably actually super killer and I just don't use it. Because I make bad decisions. Oh, you look friendly. You look more like something I've fought before. I appreciate that. You could do with a good normal fight here. Watch, they're gonna start hitting my butt. Buttocks. Well, that was the other thing I did today. What did I make? What did that make me think about it? I am. Um, I went to mass today. I finally had my car blessed. That is a thing, and there is a book with prayers in it. One of them in there is for your car. You can get your priest to do that. And I've been trying to get my. We got a new one, and because they're flippy dipping around with all the churches around here. And I think we. They call it the family of parishes. And I'm like, does that just mean that we don't have enough priests? Um, I think that's what that means. Because they seem to be rotating. And the one that is our new priest, who I don't know very well, I've been like, can you like make time for me? And he's just too busy. And I'm not sure that's the vibe as a priest you want to give off, but that's my opinion. So I cornered him after mass, kinda know, because they wait outside to say goodbye to everybody. And I was like, I'm the one that keeps emailing you. Can we please do it? And he's like, uh, I mean, uh, could you get the deacon to do it? And I'm like, really, dude? And he's like, oh, he, he should be over there in the, the, oh, what the heck do you call it? The Chris, the Christoxy, whatever, the, the room where they prep. And I'm like, uh, and he's like, if he's not there, then, you know, like, then I'll do it. And I'm just like, really, dude? Like, <laughs> we're not exactly bursting at the seams with Catholics these days. Come on, man. But whatever. And so I'm like, okay, so I go and I find the deacon. Deacon's a cool guy. My understanding is deacons uh, are, you know, they can do a lot of what the priest can do, but not everything, and they can get married. Uh, anyway, so a very nice deacon was like, uh, yeah, sure, I guess I can do that for you. And I was like, sweet! And so he follows me out to the, uh, the, garage, the, park, the car park in his robes and everything, and he's got the, the, the heavy duty bucket that he's like, he gives to me, and he's like, no, good. Yeah, want to use both hands uh i could listen i was strong enough i could have held it but that's fine and then he says the prayer and we say the prayer and then he blesses the car and he blesses me and then like he just like takes the the thing with the ball on the end and he makes it all dunks it in there and he just starts flicking it all over the car walking around it and i can literally now say that my car's first wash was with holy water because i have yet to take my brand new car to a fucking car wash and I thought that was kind of kick-ass. Also, I was very glad that the, the deacon didn't mind doing that for me. Because I'm sure he was just like, damn, I was going to get some lunch. <laughs> like, leave me alone. But, uh, that was, that was cool. So I had my car blessed. I'll be riding on the road for Jesus! Ah! Oh! But, yeah. That is a thing you can do, apparently. So, yeah, I've never done that before. I thought that was cool. Now I'm like, what else can I get? Because I gotta find a priest. Well, who my priest is gonna be? Probably not be a priest again. I'm probably gonna be a deacon because of the priest that was. Uh, those of you that are like, oh, there's too many Catholics and Christians in the world, and you feel the need to take your Bible and put it in cake batter, uh, don't worry. There's like, we're having trouble. Like, just relax. Um, we don't, we don't need your help to tear it all down because uh, we're, we're thinning. Um, and all that kind of shit does is make us want to go to church harder. So maybe back off and just let us destroy ourselves. <sighs> Hopefully not. Um, but I gotta find one to come to my house. Oh, that's what I should be reading slash listening to is the Amityville Horror. That's about moving into a new house. That has a priest that comes and blesses it and is like, never mind! I'm out of here, dude! That's That'd be cool. I feel like that's a good question you could ask your priest when they come to your new house for the first time. I wonder how often priests or deacons get asked, like, have you ever seen the end of the door? And that they're like, uh, yeah. Sure. 
I bet they respond with other things. They're like, oh yeah, but have you seen, you know, X movie? And you're like, what's that? And you're like, dude. They've probably seen some cool stuff. Like, listen. You want horror? You gotta watch this. Tell you what. That'd be kind of cool. Get your like a father's what father father Bob's horror blog. Might have some cool stuff on it. Like what's the, what's the first take on Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I feel like that'd be cool. Probably uh, probably like this is gratuitous and violent and all that. But ooh, wait, I'm, no, I'm full on it. You know what would be even better though? Oh, this thing, Confusion and Berserker, Whale Songs, um, like Sister Whatever's, Sister Bertha's horror blog. Imagine what the nuns would get up to. I haven't known a lot of nuns. Mostly been, uh, not a lot of nuns. I was gonna say mostly male reps of the church, but no, I've been a lot of women, but they're not. They're not. They're not nuns. They're um, just like women in the community who are like ministers and stuff like that. And, um, they do the RCIA or they run uh, children's programs. Uh, the women's, like the Catholic Women's League. Which I think is like the female answer to the Knights of Columbus. I'm not sure. Um, should I join that? Maybe. I don't think- so here's the problem, man. Like. I'm probably, like, the most conservative religious person that people in my life know. But I'm probably the most liberal, uh, progressive whatever person that the people in my church, uh, groups know, you know? So, like, I kind of don't fit anymore. Um. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. Listen, I gave you that one for free! I'll let you touch me with this sword! Come on, man. I'm gonna touch you. Let's see how it goes. I wanna get my mom involved in something. My mom is not Catholic, though. My mom is Anglican. Um, yes, there's a difference. Um, funny, it's- OH SHUT UP! The elevator's busted. Oh man. Oh, I knew that. Oh, I forgot. Um, but there's like no Anglican churches, it seems like, that we're removing. So she's like, that's fine. I can go to a Lutheran church. And I'm like, see, that's like not an option for me. I can't just go wherever's open. I gotta go to the one. And, but like, see, I can get her like involved in a church group. Cause like, she needs a social circle. That's not me. Um, I'm boring. I mean, like, we are gonna have a Hercules in the legendary in the legendary journey. What the heck is that called? Is it Hercules in the legendary journeys or the legendary journeys of Hercules? The one with Kevin Sorbo, my mom's man crush. Uh, we'll definitely have that that marathon. She has all of the DVD sets. Which is good, because you know what? I had trouble finding like digital versions of it, so I was like you know what? I kind of want to watch that again. And I can find all of Xena, no problem. But, uh, because I think Xena did better. But I couldn't find Hercules, which is the one that like we watched all the time as kids. So that was kind of bullshit. Hello, Bowman. I, I super miss. Oh, of course. Why did I think that would hit him and not me? I'm, I'm rewatching Game of Thrones, but I'm not gonna watch that with my parents. I had an awkward moment where. Did I get it for them? I did. Okay, I bought the box sets of Spartacus for my dad and my stepmom. Because, like. I like that that aesthetic um, but if you've ever seen that you're aware of the amount of beyond softcore boobambanga that happens in that and I was like 
don't watch this near me ever. I've seen it, but I don't want to see it with you. The gratuitous Xena titties and everything else. My goodness, so much boobs all the time. It just and it's just, it's just it's porn. That's all it was. It was porn. I'm not. I'm not sure it was anything else, but now I'm not wondering. Should I buy? I don't know. Whatever. It was entertaining when I watched it. But I had more of a libido back then. Maybe that's why I was like, "Oh, this is totally fine." Um, but maybe I should have bought. Whatever. Whatever. Um, yeah, you never want to have that moment where your parents are like, "Let's watch a movie," and then like more hardcore uh, 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 is happening, and you're like, "Oh fuck." That's no good. You don't want that. So, Game of Thrones cannot be watched with parents because, well, uh, Spartacus or whatever was way worse than Game of Thrones. I'm uh, rewatching it and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so much just from behind going on here. My goodness. Titty's swinging all over like that chick Roz or whatever. Isn't she the one that, like, uh, Marilyn Manson, like, messed with or whatever? Like, her tits are just out constant. Just, well, I mean, she doesn't get weird, but I feel like whatever. Just a lot of, a lot of. I forgot about all the sex in it. I really did. Um, even though I had just, I had started watching it again because I was watching House of the Dragon. There's sex in that, but it doesn't seem as like just constant. It seems a little more scaled back to. Not quite skin and max levels, but you know, getting getting there. We should check on Dryfield. I'm pretty sure Dryfield is empty, but let's see how it goes. And then there's always the Handmaid's Tale, which has sexy time in it, but it's, it's not sexy. It's sad. I completely missed the whole Putnam and Esther thing. I thought he was just being a and then I was kind of like, would you be embarrassed that you got struggle snuggled by a guy with one hand? Because maybe you could have taken that guy. And then I'm like, you shouldn't have that thought because that's mean. But I think I would. But I mean, I got I got struggle snuggled by the drugs, the, the struggle snuggle shake. And I was taller than than that guy. And oh, I'm out here. I wonder how many I missed. Um, I was embarrassed about that because I was like, I should have been able to kick his ass. Some data down in my mind or not. That's bullshit. I'm better. I'm projecting. Hey guys, and how many times has it repopped here? And I just haven't realized. I'm not saying you should feel that way or anything like that. I'm just saying that's a me thing. Wow! Oh my gosh, this never ends. All right, well, let's get to it. Really, guys? You gotta, you gotta be like this. You know what? Problem solver. Suck on that. Oh shit, they were ready for me. They were like, look at it, she's gonna do the problem solver and then we'll pop up and we'll stress. It almost worked. Too bad. Come on. Ugh, oh, so dumb. Come on. Kill you. Okay, so has this whole place been popped? This, like, has it gone through multiple pop cycles, for lack of a real term? Um, and I've just missed them all, or has this just been populated? I just haven't been back to depopulate it with my weapons because that's always possible. Anybody in here? No. Well, let's go see Mr. D, see what he's thinking. I like that every, like, uh, you know, like after leaving LA or whatever, all the areas are interconnected and you can get back to them. 
I think that's kind of fun. Remember these are the brain suckers. We learned about these in the ark. That's what you have to look forward to if you don't explode your own head for the benefit of your other weird neotenized. Oh, we're mixing it up, huh? Killed you. I learned all about you. I know your weaknesses now. I'm starting to get a sore throat. I've been yammering too much. Hey man. So, how are things? Which do you- he doesn't even care. He's just like, what do you want? I'm supposed to be on hot pursuit of a man who's trying to take a child, but, you know, I just haven't been. I've just been hanging out instead. Because that's my way. I will watch myself. You know what? Fuck it. Let's save. What? He took that little girl. Oh, it's Rupert. Remember Rupert, who we only hung out with for like five minutes? That monkey man from the tower! Coward. Taking a small child hostage, eh? He used poison on my arm, too, the scum. Did he? Wait. He mentioned a helicopter, right? There's gotta be an entrance besides the mine. Something they'd use for loading cargo. Like a parking lot? Go there. You got it, bud. 83. Oh. We ain't, we ain't making no change. We might be able to overtake this one. Hmm. Apobiosis. It's, uh, yeah. Leafadrana. Okay, don't forget to actually save, Dan. 